Hey guys, Jordan from Team Burning Infinity, bring you guys another buddy fight <laughs> video. Uh, this time it's an update, um, and it's on why we were on hiatus. Um, but I want to get over all the negative first, all all this negative stuff that happened, like so we can move past it. It's a new year. Uh, I don't believe in New Year's resolution though, because I don't like to lie to myself and say I'm gonna do this and then I'm not gonna do it all year. But um, regardless, I just want to get to you guys. Um. Just the negative reasons why we couldn't upload, and then we can work on what's going to change, or what we're going to try to change, uh, moving on. Uh, why didn't why didn't we upload for a whole month? Um, Rainbow Striker was uh, a really annoying set to get, only because of um, just splitting. So, what happened was we... We were doing a six-man split between friends, uh, two being teammates. Myself and Ziggy being the teammates, and then four of our friends, which is Justin, Hannah, Chris Cologne, and Steven. Uh, so we had to do a case split for Rainbow Striker. At the time of Rainbow Striker coming out, we all had the money for it, but <laughs> it was really annoying because it was around, um, of course, Christmas time, and Hannah needed to go on vacation that Friday. So, unless, I don't, I don't remember where, but that's a personal shit, she was on vacation. You guys don't need to know where. So, regardless, she ended up, um, we couldn't see her until, like, she wasn't back until, like, maybe, like, the 30th or, like, the 29th, um, around that time. So, then we were like, okay, we can maybe do around New Year's Eve, but then it was conflicting with me, because then I had, I wanted to do, I went to a New Year's Eve party, and I wanted to go around uh there but i thought about it and i was like okay i can just go really really early on new year's eve to our locals and we can just open the boxes and then be done and then take all the stuff we need and then leave but then um on the 30th when i was gonna go actually ironically right to the bank so i can take out the money from my account it was my card got blocked because someone in Louisiana or somewhere tried to charge my debit card, so the bank did the right thing and blocked my card, and then said they would have to wait to send send me a rela replacement for like five to seven business days, you know, standard bank stuff. So I'm like, ah, well, can't do it till like next week. So then it was like we can do it till next week, and then actually, ironically, like really like the fifth or something like that in January, I was like, oh hey, I got my I got my card, I got my new card. Can we do it like this weekend? They're like, nope. And then, like, Steven, Zig, and Cologne go, like, nope, we don't have the money anymore. We didn't save it up, so, and we had to spend it on other things. They didn't tell us, to tell us reasons. I'm not going to ask them to. It's probably bills, so I can't, I can't blame them there. If they, if they spent it on something else, even if they did and I knew, I wouldn't get mad at them. It's just they didn't have the money, so we had to wait another week until they can get paid. So that's why it took till, the, like, the week before this video was recorded for us to do, um, it on Sunday. But regardless, uh, we finally got the Rainbow Striker. Obviously, you saw my prison deck profile. If not, uh, some previous video, you can just go watch it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but regardless, we're, um, so, Rainbow, we got our Rainbow Striker stuff. Well, I did, and Zig did. Uh, the problem is, uh, like, mainly Jake, and, uh, and obviously, Lucy, and, and Steve, no, pff, I'm about to say Steven, uh, and Chris, like Polanco on our team, does not do not have all the things they need because we had to do a case split. Uh, I went for obviously prisms. Um, I took I paid extra to get the Miserias specifically out of the TE pack because I definitely need those for Demon Lords. Um, Steven, well, St Steven's not relevant to this because it's teammate related, but regardless, he took out the like Quixote from the pack. Um, Cologne directly went for TE because that's all he cared, cared about in the set. Um, it would be toilet, but you know he can't fucking finish that. Um, um, Hannah wanted Cosmo Dragoon out of SDW stuff, so I just passed that to her. Um, because I technically like got the whole SDW a lot, but I just gave all of the Cosmo Dragoon shit because I don't need that. Um, um, Steven got all the knight stuff, because he's building knights, and he also plays prisons, so I started passing him, like, extras from me, uh, except the secret pack, and making him pay for that, whenever he gets the money, um, but, like, he got prismatic blessings and other things for free, so he can't complain, also, we did get an SP, 
um, I, I got a Buddy Rare um, and an SP out of the case split, but um, I gave him the SP as a Christmas gift because we hadn't seen each other in a while. He's a good friend of mine, so I wanted to give him something. Um, but, um, so, like, basically, um, uh, like, we couldn't give, I couldn't get anything to Blanco or Jake. Jake got, like, extra chaos stuff from Zig when I, out of the case, but, like, really everything else, like, um, we just couldn't do. So regardless, um, it's just because, like, mainly, it's just only, like, me and, like, and Zig's not even fully done with his chaos because we couldn't get Exul chest, and that's for yeah, annoying reasons we don't have that. Uh, mainly just our, our, our card shop owner just being, like, neglectful and forgot about, like, X dual chests and didn't think, like, anyone would actually care, and then it was overpriced, so he thought no one would buy it, and then sold out immediately before even we got it, so then we couldn't get any, so we're probably going to have to worry about getting it online or some shit. But regardless, um... Now to get on to the personal reasons, the really annoying ones, I'm just trying to get a breeze through these, um, there's mine. One, I got into a really, I got into a relationship back in October, so I've just been, like, worrying about, worrying about, like, the uh, staying with, um, her, she was, um, her name was Yuri, she was my ex-girlfriend back in high school, uh, we broke up because she moved to college to Yale, and it was really annoying to do a long-distance relationship, I also, I have commitment issues. And not like I cheated or anything. I don't do that. That's fucking scummy. I just, in general, didn't think I was good enough. So I just kind of just broke up her and we just stayed, stayed friends. But then my friend Marquis got me, like, to get motivated to talk to her. Because she would usually, like, like talk to me about getting back together. Because, like, she tried dating guys in college and they were all fucking stupid. <laughs> and she, ironically, people at Yale were fucking stupid. And she goes, like, I, you were... <laughs> She's like, you're only a smart guy I fucking dated. <laughs> but anyway, not to toot my own horn or any shit. Uh, but regardless, I've been dealing with, um, getting back into that relationship and her coming around holiday times like Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I would want to hang out with her, so I didn't do any videos or anything, and also, like I said, Rainbow Striker time, I couldn't, I didn't have any Rainbow Striker stuff, so couldn't upload. Uh, I had a job at UPS, a seasonal position as a preloader, it was fucking awful. Um, I got paid barely above minimum wage. I'm not even kidding, like ten twenty. It's twenty cents more than the bare minimum of minimum wage in New York. Um I worked twelve like midnight to nine AM all the way up like in Elmsford, which is like a decent far away from where I live. So I had to take a bus and a train repeatedly and if not they were running, I would have to take an Uber. So it got really expensive just to go to my job. And it was at really annoying times, so it would eat up my, it destroyed my sleep schedule. I still have a shitty sleep schedule because of it. Like, I just stay up all, I just practically stay up at night, and then I go to sleep in the morning, and I'm missing, like, evening shit, and I just get really annoyed. And I, I've been trying to fix it, and it's freaking annoying me. But, regardless, I'm trying to get a new job that will pay me more and be way more convenient, and I've been, and um, hopefully that'll happen because... I'll get into that in the positives, but, um, that's just been my reasoning for me not uploading. Devlon, um, he didn't upload his dual dragon, I mean, not dual dragons, dual dragons he's kind of giving up on because Butch is not helping him at all, um, but dual golems, um, he did not upload it at all for Overturn Thunder Empire despite being done because he wanted an SP buddy for so long, so he's like, I really want an SP buddy, and he wanted me to try and get it off our team trades, but I couldn't do it, it was like $65, uh, most people didn't even have DSPs, because people bought it online, and, um, or they were, like, just overpricing it, like, I would see it on Ideal for 65, and they had, like, 5 in the stock, and then I'm, and then they're, like, $70, I'm like, you good, so, uh, it was really annoying, so then I asked him, I'm like, dude, you can't, I'm like, also, in general, we always set a team rule that if, if it's, I tried to be nice this one time, but, like, usually I'm like, if it's an SP, that is aesthetics, like, if you don't need the base card, like, he didn't, he had, like, five drag golems, I think, but, like, if you, if you don't need, like, our thing for team trades, if you don't need the base, if, if you don't need the base card, like, say you have, for example, like, say Polanco has four regular secret rare borrow, like, original borrow bots, um, from Overturned Thunder Empire, and then he's like, oh, I really, really want the SP. I'm, we made a rule that we're not going for the SP just because you like the SP. Even I'm, even I, um, out of our Rainbow Striker thing, I wanted SP Miseria, and we didn't get it. So I'm going to personally get SP Miseria. It's not on the team, in the team's trades, for me to want to go for an SP. 
that's not for the team. That's for myself. So I will get it myself. And Dev wanted me to help get it for him. And I tried, and I couldn't. And he was dealing with just, and he probably just really wanted it because he was dealing with a lot of things at his job and his personal life that I'm not going to get into because that's his personal business. So it made him really depressed for a while. He didn't go to locals for like a whole month, even longer than us. Like he didn't go throughout the entire month of December and then he didn't come back until we did, we did, um, we went on, um, su Sunday. So regardless, De Dev was just like in a rut and he, he um, and I just didn't, and he just didn't upload like dual golems for that reason. So if you want to see dual golems, uh, pressure him in the freaking comment section down below. Tell him you want that dual golem profile because he finally got his SP. Um, Jake, Jake was um also got into a relationship. Um, uh, with his girlfriend Lissa. Uh, uh, and they're they're cute together. They're, but um. It's like any relationship, like even like my own, there's problems. So he has to work through all that. He had to work through his own because he's having to deal with medical problems and financial problems. So he had to start selling some of his decks, like many, mainly all the decks that he didn't play. Like he, he's like he built Demon Lords, but he wasn't good at it. And he kept and I kept trying to help him. I even like fucking spent like hours on Skype calls trying to help him, and he could not somehow figure out the deck. And so, like. And along with all the other decks, he's like hadn't played in like months or even some of them a year or more. Like he, he it is just like we. I just really went like, come on, man, just just get rid of these. You're not gonna play them. Or just in general, he built so many of the meta decks or just main decks of the season that it would cost him way too much money to keep having to update them because they keep getting updated. Like he owns T and Chaos, so he's gonna have a ha hell of a lot of fun dealing with um. <clears throat> driven to disorder, um, anyway, um, it was just, um, and he also felt like, just card game wise also, he was just depressed, because he's like, he did, he did get top 16 at our art circuit, um, with chaos, but he felt like, well, the chaos build, I just got, like, off, like, other people's lists, and then, like, then had me tweak it, because, like, with every one of his decks, I always help him, and he, um, just felt like he's like I I haven't like done well with a deck that I built myself because like I got twenty if with my with my prisms and he's like you didn't ask for anyone else's input and you got that far I needed all the input in the world and I played uh well what I said was an autopilot deck I mean to me a lot of offensive decks feel auto autopilot to me to me I M O I that may not be true but just to me I can play. I, like, I can borrow, like, T or Chaos from any of the teammates, and I can play it well enough. And I just feel like that's just boring. Um, but regardless, he just felt like he, it was an accomplishment, and I do feel to blame to that, because, like I said, I'm like, it's an, I feel like it's an autopilot deck, and he could have done better if he just didn't misplay, because there were times I was sitting next to him and he misplayed. But sometimes it didn't matter, because this deck just, you know, has... The capabilities where even a misplayer player two doesn't literally lose you the game. Um, but regardless, he felt like, like with things like how I'm, like good, and known well good enough because I still haven't topped yet because I wasn't trying for most of the years. I always kept having fun at regionals. Now I want to try, and you know people were fucking down in my throat for that. Uh, but he won't. He wanted to, like, have a deck that, like, people could, like, go to him for advice. Like, how people do with me with Demon Lords or, like, Danger World or Executions with Devlon or um, um, Zig with Ninjas. Like, people know enough about us to say if someone puts up a discussion post going, oh, I need help with this deck, sometimes we get tagged. So, that's, that's all that happens. He wanted something like that. Um, so he, he's building Lavatine, he's trying to get good with Lavatine, so, uh, in a minute, so, that, that's where that goes, um, Chris, Chris Belongo, like, TBI Chris, he, he, it's the same thing, he, he's, he's been in high school for a long time, but due to a lot of personal reasons, mainly his mom took him out of school a lot, and he doesn't really give a shit about school, he just wants to be done with it, so he didn't try often, so he just been in there for a while, um, he, um, he's very, very, very poor, like, he has very unstable internet, there would be hardly any times we can even see him on, like, 
Facebook Messenger and our group chats because he just got unstable internet around where he is or he doesn't have internet. Um, like, he doesn't have the practically the money to go to locals. He can only go whenever a lot of us plan to go because then it will be worth. But then he saw us to borrow money or borrow a Metro card from our friend Chris Cologne uh, because they take the same train to get to our locals. So it's just, it, it just, he's way too poor. And the reason, one of the reasons we put him on the team, not because of not only his skills and his just knowledge of the game, he's also just like, he. I feel like he would have a lot of potential if he could build the decks he wants to build, which he can't because of his financial situation. So that's why I always take it upon myself to try and really help him because I like him being able to do as well as he can without being held back by, you know, tr conventional card game means of, oh, you like this deck? Secrets, secrets, secrets. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh over again. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that's his reason. It's always been his reasons for not being able to. Oh, and obviously due to not having internet, he can't, you know, upload by himself. Um, and also he has a very loud household full of siblings and his mom and his stepdad. So, yeah. Um, Ziggy is always usually busy with work. Um, so it's really, really hard for him to, um, upload. He doesn't, and also he's just like not comfortable with the channel yet. Like he, we, he's always been a good friend of us for uh, at least like a, two years now. So, and I don't want him to be pushed to do videos. I want him to ease into it and want to do it. I don't want it to be like, Oh, uh, Jalen wants me to do a video. I may not be feeling well today, or like I don't feel like this is like the build I really want to have right now, and uh, I guess I'll do the build or whatever. I want him to like want to do it. I want him to want to upload. I want him to want to be a part of the team like that. I don't want to force anything on it. But that's usually his reason. Um, and then Lucy. Lucy is um just she doesn't take the game. It's obvious. She, like I said, she's very new, new to not only the team but to to the game, and she's not comfortable with the rest of the team yet. Like she really only talks to me, and she doesn't. She doesn't really like a lot of the rest of the team because she doesn't get to know any of us, and she only got to know me as well. But like she stayed with Jake. She's, she's um like met Devlon like a couple of times. Uh, she barely interacts with Polanco and doesn't really like his personality because he is abrasive. Um, and Zig, she met at Albany and has no, and she has no recollection of him, so she doesn't have an opinion on him. So it's just like, she do, she's not there at being in a relationship with the team yet. It's just mainly, it's, it, she's on the team as an extension with being friends with me. And we were trying to give her some kind of way where she can get the cards without, because... The thing we do with TVI, we whenever we get cards, unless it's conflicting with two people having the same deck, or now three because three people play fucking T on the damn, on the damn team. Um, if we need a card, we give it to them. We give it to the person with the highest priority of it, and that's usually not only seniority, but how much they play it. Like TE, I try to give it to Polanco because that's actually his main deck. Z Jake flips lots between Chaos and TE, so I don't try to give him mostly everything because it's not gonna lead to anything probably and Lucy we'll she's all the way up in like upstate New York like she can drive to Canada like in like maybe two hours three hours where it would take like probably eight plus if for someone like me down here so like near the city so she's far away from us she doesn't have a locals up there because it's hard because most people play Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic and like usual of course any area um, when it comes to card game shops, and she has college, uh, like any person in the world, like she, she with college comes depression, <laughs> so she she's just not motivated to take the game seriously because she's got other things on her plate, um, and she has to work on that before she can want to take the game seriously. And also, she hasn't she plays TE because she finds it fun because it's easy to use, and that's even worse from her. So don't even try to fucking point it out on me. Um, uh, and she just, um, but she wants to find a deck like how she did in Yu-Gi-Oh, like with Fire Kings and, um, Agents, and I'm not going to go into all the examples that she told me, but, um, just either be able to make a deck like she did in Yu-Gi-Oh, like a unique deck that could, like, be fun for her, or just in general an archetype that actually really grasps her, and she likes the aesthetic, she likes, she likes what they do, she wants something like that, so she's waiting for something like that. 
Uh, so that's all of our personal reasons for why we hadn't uploaded for a whole month. Now, what can you expect to see from us? Now, obviously, uh, it's going to take a while to get any Thunder Empire on the, uh, on, on the, on the channel because, uh, like I said, Polanco, Polanco's reasoning and Jake's reasoning, they're going to be, it's going to be hard for them. Uh, Chaos, it might also take a little while. Zig's the closest to building, finishing his Chaos is between Zig and Jake, and um, Zig is closer, but he, we do not have X-Dual Chess because of vendor reasons, so we're probably going to have to try and get it online, and then we have to wait till it's sent, it's sent to us, blah, 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 blah. Um, so um, we'll try to get to your Chaos as quick as we can. Um, once again, Blanco's also not done with Knights. I used to have Adventures, but I gave it to him because I don't, I'm not motivated to play that deck. I don't think it's fun. Well, I think it's fun. I just feel like I have way more fun with Demon Lords. I have, I'm more familiar with Demon Lords. And even before all the night support, just adventure wise, I was like, this deck is like good, almost good enough, but it's not there. So I just don't feel like playing it. And, and I feel like it would just be better in his, his hands. Cause he played adventure since day one. I played De dungeon me since day, day one. So I'm like, fuck it. He deserves it more. Um, and, um, Levitin, I, once again, I would do it to Jake, get, let him do the profile, but he doesn't have Holy Grails, like regular Holy Grails, he ironically has Bloody Holy Grail, but not original, um, and I don't want him to profile it without Holy Grail, like, I feel like, because we do decks that are not only tiered to our playstyle and how we play, but also decks that would be, um, not too hard for someone to understand and build themselves, but if we put if we don't put in a near understandably staple card in a deck, I don't want to upload that shit. That's, that's just fucking stupid. <laughs> like, so maybe our friend Lee, who was building it, I know he probably has original Holy Grail, so I would rather profile his deck when we get the chance. Uh, and there's no one around with toilet, so I don't think we're going to be able to get a toilet profile, unfortunately. Um, and... Of course, my Demon Lords and uh, Mother Egg, um, Mother Dragon deck, if you want to see that, um, I can probably do that somewhere around this week. Um, and then I'm definitely going to be trying to do more match videos. Uh, so, <clears throat> mm, that's about it. Yeah, sorry, it's like really short in the updates. But um, one thing I do want to say is thank you so much um, for all your support. If you've been around, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a like. Comment what you want to see down down um down in the comment section below and one thing i do also want to improve on the channel is just the aesthetics i want to change the tbi logo and i want to change the channel art the channel art is fucking awful it was made by joey with fucking photoshop and he had no idea what he was doing and i hate that it's still there but i do not have the funds to use the adobe creative cloud at the point because i have no job right now so if i could do that i would definitely work on making art for the channel myself but without the funds to do it um i can j i'm just i'm just with my sketchbook and i can just think of buddy monsters and each of us to draw but then that's not going to lead anywhere if i can't put it online and i can't like work with it but regardless anyway guys anyway guys uh general team ring infinity going out